as often as I had now seen those wandering corpses, from the freshly dead to bones held together by dark arts, I would never get accustomed to them. I felt madness creeping into my mind, how distant and human voices whispered messages directly into my brain. And I felt a bewildering impulse in me every time I saw one of the images with that kraken-headed monster. It was a feeling of fascination, a familiarity, but also similar to that sensation which I had always felt at home whenever I looked at the picture of my late parents. I shook this off and turned away with a vague feeling of triumph after I had destroyed the diabolical altar. But the inhuman, almost submarine-sounding calls which I heard from the area ahead of me made me shudder. Welcome back to Robert the Anderson and the Legacy of Cthulhu. So, last time we stepped through a door, now apparently we are just in a dead end here, with no door inside. Anyway, let's see what we have here. Some sort of cell. And, ooh, we've got an actual melee weapon. Well, that's interesting. Oh dear, you don't look friendly. I only have, oh, I actually have no bullets left. I guess it's time for some melee combat. Oh, damn. That sounded horrific. Yeah, I guess the best strategy is here to just like, back off and try to slap those killer nurses as often as possible. Okay, here we have. So we do have some ammo now. How much did we get? Uh, an okay amount. And here we have some sort of cyber coffin or cyber bathtub. We don't really know. But whatever. Let's see what we have over here. German week, German German wares, German work. Weighs more than American, French, British, Swiss and apparently also Japanese products. So you're not, you're not very kind to your to ally there. So let's go through here. Oh, yeah, I guess it's time to abandon the axe for now. Yep, you dance your your dance. And anybody else here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, oh damn, you were a lot a lot more accurate than than your buddy over there. But we got some new ammunition, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm not quite sure why I'm so obsessed with reloading, but whatever. Yeah, these these soldiers, their precision varies a lot. Occasionally, they kill with like two shots from a distance. Occasionally, they can't hit you at all. It's it's very mixed. For example, the second level, when I played this game for the first time, I remember that being a lot more brutal than it was on this playthrough here. But anyway, oh, got a key here. Always pick up the keys. So, you've got... So, got another another flying saucer. Oh, and got a door that requires a key. How convenient. So, and there's apparently a bathroom here. So, let's see what we have here. Oh, just some... Oh, can just jump out of the window here. So, do we have to crouch? Yeah, yeah we have. Two, and there's some flickering here. Not quite sure if intentional or if... If bug... Oh, wait. Yeah, in this game you never quite know whether that's a bug or a feature. Also, that, that nurse, or that like a woman in a sailor's uniform, she looks... It looks very much like a like an American uniform. Anyway. Okay, apparently this axe is property of phony? Okay. That's weird. I mean, didn't we have the propaganda poster about buying German products or not? Hello. You need an awful long time to turn around. So, and more ammunition. I appreciate that. And more Wolfensteinian music. More keys. Even more ammunition. And can you please pick that up? Thank you. And health packs we don't really need right now. So we've got a good amount of shots here. 
What was that? Or just some flickering. I thought there was like an invisible ghost or so. Maybe there is. They are, there are invisible enemies in this game, but I don't think they're in intentionally invisible. They just turn, occasionally turn invisible when you reload in a room with enemies. Where are you? Anyway, time to pick up a health pack because we've got two in this room here, so we may as well make use. What the? Oh, that's not a skeleton. Yeah. Well, let's try that again. I think you well, don't know what you kind of weapon you have, but I don't like it. So the question is, where where was that skeleton? Okay, let's be careful. Oh, there you are. They okay, know you're tough. Oh, actually, where well, you're not. Wow, you went down quickly. The last time I fought a skeleton, that ate a lot more bullets. Maybe maybe headshots are extra effective against you. Who knows? Anyway, here we have some sort of indoor graveyard. Not, not a catacomb, it looks like an actual indoor graveyard. An altar with a human sacrifice. That is sick. And more Cthulhu fan art. Well, I guess it's time to go. Okay, I guess we should not touch that. Or at least we... Oh, yeah. Oh, what the hell. Okay, this time let's just try to run through them as quickly as possible. I need life. I need... I need... blood. Hey, don't turn into a vampire, okay? Ooh, did just eat... Brains. The second Ooh. statue is missing. Okay, so... Statue is missing. That's not good, obviously. So it looks like we're turning into a vampire. Well, I guess that that's not really the strangest thing that happened in this this game so far. So okay, let's try to find that statue. Is it here somewhere? Maybe it is. In any case, it's rather dark, so it's not really all that easy to see. But I guess we'll get a prompt of sorts. Also there's a floating pistol here, but an altar with a human sacrifice. This Cthulhu will not let me die. Ooh. Got some a Cthulhu refreshment here. Yeah that's not as strange as it sounds. There will actually be an explanation for that later. Still not sure what's up with that statue. I guess it should be somewhere here. Nope, that's just a corpse. So I guess we can just walk through here again now that we got our hit points back. And but I don't think but there wasn't any other door here or anything, was there? No, not from what I remember. It's just another pipe. And the other statue apparently counts as a key. So doesn't really seem to be any way of getting through here. Obviously now I wasted more than half my hit points getting back here. So is, is there a door somewhere that I can't see in the shadows? So I guess, yeah, I have to figure something out here. Turns out I actually overlooked a passage in this room here. Whether that will actually help me to solve that puzzle is a different story. We do get ammunition and Rituals a document. Rituals for summoning the golden idols of Ashathoth. Required a sacrificial altar dedicated to one of the old ones. A worthy sacrifice in the formula which reads... If only it were written more clearly. Klaatu, Verata, and something. Alright, that should definitely help us because a uh, little idol is indeed what we need. <coughs> so let's just head back. So we do have the, the altar in the other room. We do have a, I guess that corpse is a worthy sacrifice. It's not that we have anything else. And... Yeah, that's essentially all we need. So let's see whether Robert can get that formula going. And if he can, then we should indeed be able to get our second idol. There we go. Klaatu, Verada, ne Necro, 
Necolith. Nectarine. Okay. Was that good enough? Okay, so I can still press enter, but nothing seems to happen, and I didn't really see us getting any idols. Oh, actually, what the hell? So that for me should have come with a disclaimer that it summons a mummy with a shotgun, which I don't remember, and I don't know why I don't remember that, because that's kind of unforgettable, but anyway. Here we go again. Klaatu. Rada, ne Necro, Necolith, Nectarine. That's sufficient. There we go. And yeah, this undead here exploded. The manual warns you of that. That's kind of the only hint <laughs> the manual gives you. But we can use Cthulhu to heal our ourselves here. So. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. So let's go through here again. Of course we now don't get those delicious brains. Okay, so this is a hybrid breeding ground. Yeah, that, that went well. Alright, this time I managed to take that skeleton out. You have to be really, really quick. For some reason, the skeletons, they are way better shot than normal human beings. So, here is... You've got uh, a hybrid breeding facility. So, strength are uh, natural armor on head and body, you can read that. And apparently these samples came from Infamous, England, Arkham, Venice. Some of them from the old, the old Duke. Some of them from regular humans, and some from Hyla Aborea, and apparently I could overrange that's vulnerable legs. Uh, that might be good to know. So yeah, something tells me we're going to run into someone nasties here. So let's get a pop quick save here, and let's see what awaits us here. Got some ammunition, it's always good, except when... Okay, am I supposed to just jump over there? I mean, it's not like I'm desperate for bullets. I've got 54, which is pretty good. Well, that cost me some health. That may or may not have been worth it. We'll see. Let's just see what awaits us here. Oh, more ammunition. Ah, uh, and... Okay. Just some machinery and some plants. Looks very arena-like. Oh damn. Sind Sie Dr. Merens? Waren das Ihre Kreaturen da draußen? Nur die Dagonsbrut. Sie haben gerade drei Jahre intensivster Forschung zerstört. Aber mit den Untoten der schwarzen Sonne habe ich nichts zu tun. Das ist keine Wissenschaft. Das ist Magie, Okkultismus. Aber es funktioniert, nicht wahr? Es ist genau das gleiche wie vor 30 Jahren mit meinem Großvater. Die wissen nicht, was sie da zurückbringen. Aber wir haben nachgeforscht, Herr Landers. Ihr Großvater ist bereits im 17. Jahrhundert in der Gegend hier aufgetaucht. Das sollte Ihnen zu denken geben. Ich hatte die Möglichkeit, einen Teil seines Fußes zu untersuchen. Und er ist definitiv kein Mensch. Zumindest nur teilweise menschlich. Sie meinen also, wenn mein Großvater und mein Vater, dass dann auch ich quasi... Ihre Zellen weisen die gleichen Eigenschaften auf wie die Zellen des alten Freiherrn. Tentakloide Eigenschaften. Ihnen wurde ein interessantes Erbe hinterlassen. 
Sie wissen es noch gar nicht. Die Ursache für das ganze Chaos hier, für die Untoten, für die verrückt gewordene Dagonsbrut, ist Ihr Großvater. Die SS hat ihn mit Hilfe ihrer Magie ins Leben zurückgebracht. Das ist nicht wahr. So? Überzeugen Sie sich in den Dimensions- und Waffenlabors meines Bruders. Laufen Sie, solange Sie noch Beine haben und nicht auf Tentakeln durch die Gänge kriechen. Well, that was easy. See you next time.